All right. So here we've got uh, a question that we're going to consider on our construction and uh, local concept. Uh, the first part that we are given, which is the most important part that you're supposed to consider uh, the instruction that you're supposed to use a ruler and compasses only uh, for all the constructions that you're going to make sure clearly all construction lines and acts. All constructions should be done on a single diagram, meaning to say whatever that you're going to have as your construction should be on a single diagram, uh, which is important. So we are given the first part that uh, from a point M, so there's a point M that we are given on level ground, the angle of elevation of a bed on the top of a vertical pole is 30 degrees. So remember the concept of the angle of elevation to say uh, you are looking on the top of a pole, like this is our pole here from a certain point, which is on the horizontal ground, you'll be looking on top of this pole, that is the angle of elevation. So in this case, we are given that from a point M, there's a point that we are considering, which is on the horizontal ground. So this is just our sketch. This is point M, looking on top of a vertical pole. So there's a pole that we are considering here, a pole, there's a pole that we are considering. So this is a horizontal ground, this is our pole in this case. This is our, our ground in this case. So we are saying these two, they meet at 90 degrees, the vertical uh, the vertical and the horizontal. So M is at 45 degrees to the, to the pole. That is looking at this pole, M is looking at an angle of 45 degrees. But we are given also that after this, um, there is a condition here that we are given also. From another point N, so there's another point referred to as N, 10 meters closer to the pole. So if this is M and N is 10 kilometers to the pole, it means N is on the side of the, the pole and the difference between there is 10 meters. But if we are to consider the information that we have here, we are given that one centimeter is representing two meters. So if one centimeter is representing two meters, what about 10 meters? It is going to be represented by what? If one centimeter is uh, represented by two meters, what about 10 meters? What are we going to have as the equivalence in this case? So it's gonna be 10 over two multiplied by one. So you've got 10 over two by one there, which is gonna be five centimeters. So meaning to say in place of 10 meters, we are going to have five centimeters. So in between M and N, there is 10 uh, meters, which is five centimeters according to us. And we are given from the same uh, point, which is such that M and N on the same side of the pole, the angle of elevation of the same bed, we are looking on the same bed, which is on the top of the pole, the angle is going to be uh, 45 degrees in this case. All right, so we've got 30 degrees in the first place, then this one, it's uh, 45 degrees. Where am, I got, where am I getting this 45 degrees in the first place here? The first place, we are given our angle as 30 degrees, this one. So this one is given as uh, 30 degrees. Let me just move this. Uh, the first angle was 30 degrees. Then any, which is closer to the pole. So let's say our any is here. It is the one that is at an angle of uh, 45 degrees in this case. So this is gonna be 45 degrees. And like I was il illustrating before that M and N are on the same line and N is 10 meters closer to the pole, meaning to say from M to N, we've got 10 meters. The one that we said it's five centimeters. So this is going to be our sketch, the one that we are going to use in uh, everything. All right, so this is the only information that we are given. And uh, from this part, we are given use one centimeter, which is the one that we used, construct the diagram to show uh, the positions of M and N and the vertical pole. We use the diagram to find this. All right, so let us start by constructing these positions that we are given in this case. So if you are to check on our construction, remember everything is supposed to be done from our ruler and uh, the compass in this case. So these are the two things that I'm gonna need here, our ruler and our compass. All right, so uh, what you're going to do on your constructions, uh, remember uh, every construction should be taken from a line. Like I always say, uh, always say 
from a point uh, which is on a line. And our diagram in this case is more to the left, as we can check here, uh, sorry, more to the right. In this case, it's going more to the right. Our angles are from this side to the right. So meaning to say, make your diagram or, or the first point on your presentation to be on them on the left side more to the left so that it can go to the right. All right, so let us just have our horizontal line. We do not know what's gonna happen. So this line just draw as big enough as uh, as you can, just uh, as big enough because we do not know where exactly our points are. Remember, this is not drawing, it's a construction. Uh, then the first thing, let us mark our first point M so we can uh, refer. Our point N in this case, I'm just gonna mark my point N here. Uh, let's say somewhere here. This is where I want my point N, M to be. M is my first point. Remember, M is our first point. Sorry, I don't want this. I just want this point M. So M is the first point that we are considering in this case, this one. And at M, there's an angle of 30 degrees. So we're supposed to construct 30 degrees from there. So remember 30 degrees is taken from 60. And I hope now we know how to construct 60 degrees from the point M. You're supposed to have an arc of your choice. So this is our arc here with the same distance without changing this, the, this distance here. Mark another arc on this same arc that you're having. I'm going to mark another arc from this side. So this angle here, is 60 degrees. So without changing this distance, instead of you showing the 60 degrees, without changing this distance that you're having, instead of you indicating the 60, you can use these two points, this point and this point to construct the 30 degrees. So from this point, you're going to mark an arc inside without changing the distance. You do the same from this point again, where these two points intersect. That is our 30 degrees. So the first uh, part, or the intersection of these arcs here was our 60 degrees, this one. Then this one, it's now our 30 degrees, all right? If you want to indicate the 60, then you bisect the 60, it's still one and the same thing. All right, so here we're gonna join uh, so that we obtain our 30 degree angle like this. All right, so remember, this is our first angle. So we're just gonna indicate as a continuous line, we need this angle and this construction. So the points, just indicate a little bit from the point. Yeah, they're supposed to actually join at that point uh, properly. All right, so this is our 30 degrees. And where this 30 degrees is going, we do not know. We just know that it's gonna reach the top of the pole here. This is where the bed is, is on the top of the pole. But what we know is that from this point M to N, there's a distance here of, uh, five centimeters, which is 20 meters, the one that, so you measure on your ruler. So in this case, let's say I have measured on my ruler, this is my five centimeters, all right? You're supposed to measure this on your ruler. You mark now from the point M on this line, you are going to mark uh, the point N. So this is our point N, five centimeters from, uh, five centimeters from M. So here we have got five centimeters uh, from M. This is our N. All right, from N, we have got an angle of 45 degrees from N, which is 45 degrees. Remember, 45 degrees is supposed to be taken from 90. You bisect 90. This becomes 45. This becomes 45. So in this case, uh, we need the 45 degrees to be, in, to be this side, to be this side, to the right side. So we are going to start by 90 degrees. Remember how you construct 90 degrees, you just open a distance from the point N. You are at point N, you open a distance of your choice. We're gonna have a distance this side, another arc on this side. So with these two arcs that you have constructed, you're going to step from one arc, you open more than half, open more than half, mark an arc on top and another arc down. But since there's a reference point N, there is no need for you to mark an arc down here. If you want, you can do that, but there's already a reference point, which is N. So from this point, you do the same. You mark the arc on this side on top uh, like this. All right, so where these two arcs intersect, you can join them back to, to N. So this one, like I was saying, there's a reference point, which is N. So that's why I do not need the arcs that are down there because uh, already I have got a reference point. So here 
I can use broken lines. I don't want this 90 degrees. It's just helping me to find my 45 degrees. So this one can be a broken line like this. All right, so we have got 90 degrees. So what are you gonna do? We have to bisect this 90 degrees so that we obtain uh, 45 degrees. So at this point, remember to bisect an angle, just open a distance of your choice, uh, mark an arc, but make sure that the arc is supposed to cross with the, with the part that is not broken. So you have to target the part which is not broken. So in this case here, as you can see, this part is not broken. And on this side, you mark another arc. With these two arcs that we have marked, you are going to use the two arcs without changing the distance. Mark an arc inside where you expect your 45 degrees. As you can see, we expect our 45 degrees to be somewhere there. So that is where we are going to have our arc. So you're gonna mark our arc uh, maybe somewhere here. All right, then we do the same thing from this arc that we marked from this distance here from this point we are going to mark an arc back. All right, so that is, uh, we have bisected 90 degrees. And by joining this, I want you to see what is going to happen here. Let's say we are joining this, uh, these two points here that we have uh, marked. There's something that is going to happen if we are joining these two points here. All right, this is what is going to happen. We are joining from the point N to the intersection of these points like this. Draw as the big line as, not, as enough as possible. So as we can see, at the end of constructing the angle of uh, 45 degrees, which is this one, the angle of 45 degrees, this one, these two lines, the angle of elevation from M and the angle of elevation from N, they are meeting at a certain point uh, here, let us just say somewhere there. That is where these two points meet. Where these two points meet, that is where the bed is because these two points, they are looking at the same bed. So this is where we are having our bed. And from this bed to this point, that's where we are going to have the vertical pole now. But we can't just draw a line from this point to say, ah, from this point, draw a line like this, I have got a vertical pole. No, we are supposed to do the proper constructions. So this is the one they are asking us on this part here. On, uh, on the, all right, uh, just pardon for these things uh, that we are having here, where they are asking us to construct from the diagram the height, to find the height, to construct this height of the pole, meaning to say we are supposed to do constructions for this height. How do you do the construction? This is the part where we talk about uh, the perpendicular from a given point. I talked about how to construct uh, the perpendicular from a point from a point to a line, to a line. It must be from a certain point to a given line and it must be at 90 degrees. So how do you construct that? Remember, from this point, you're supposed to open a distance that is supposed to cross two points of your line. With these two points, we are supposed to mark back to this line, mark to this side, mark back to this point, to this side, then you join. The line that you are going to join is going to be perpendicular to the line. So that is how you construct uh, that perpendicular from a given point. And our given point is where the bed is, which is the intersection of these two points. So I'm going to mark uh, here, let me try to do this. I'm not supposed to change this distance uh, that I'm using. So I'm going to use the point here. Uh, this is our point here, the point where the bed is. So you try to construct and see if we can have an arc that gonna Cross two points. So as you can see here, we can win. All right, so something like this, we are going to have an arc. Let me use another marker here. So we are going to have an arc from this line, but this arc is supposed to pass through two positions from your from your line. All right, here I'm, I'm actually uh, increasing the same distance. I'm not supposed to increase this same distance. All right, so it's like this like this all right this is like this how it is supposed to be this is our arc so this arc here from this arc now what you're going to do is you are going to mark without changing the distance this distance that you see that you opened here to to have these two points if this line is not big enough extend that line with your ruler extend it so that you can have two arcs and it's not that these the, uh, this arc here, it's not, it's supposed to be between M and N like here. No, it's not supposed to be like that. As long it's on the line from M and N. 
So if your line MN is short, extend that line. All right, so what you are going to do from these two points where the arc and the line intersect, you mark an arc and the first arc, definitely it is going back to the, the, the reference point that we had, which is our point what, which is uh, where the bed is here. So this one, it is going back to the reference point where the bed is, that is our first point. The other point, you are going to mark it down, all right? So the other point, you just mark it on the other side down here. You do the same thing from this point here. You are going to mark an arc back where the bed is, all right? This is our reference point and the other arc is going down. So as we can see, uh, let me extend a little bit. As we can see here, these two arcs, they will join at a certain point like this, all right? These two arcs, they are joining at a point. Where these two arcs uh, meet, where these two arcs meet, that's you are going to join now from where the bed is to the point of intersection of these two arcs. All right, so here we are going to join and this line is perpendicular. This line that you are going to draw here, it, it will be your perpendicular height. All right, so that is how you construct a, a perpendicular line from a given point to a line, from a given point. Take note, we are from a point to a line. So this is the point and this is the line. So meaning to say this uh, uh, up to this point, it will be at 90 degrees. So that is uh, the angle of elevation concept. Meaning to say here, we are talking about our vertical pole. That is how we could have uh, constructed this pole. And if we check the other part of the question, I want us to be clear here. What was our question? Our question was now on item two. It was to calculate the distance or to find the distance of M from the bottom of the pole. Take note where we are coming from. It's from the bottom, from, from the bottom of the pole. And uh, we are considering M. All right, so this is where we have our M. So the distance that you're supposed to find in this case you are supposed to measure from m to the bottom of the pole this is our pole here so this is the distance that you are supposed to to measure all right so if we are to measure this distance in terms of centimeters because here we are supposed to write our answer in terms of meters because remember these distances are in meters so you are going to measure first your distance in centimeters, uh, it's gonna depends with your values, but as for me, I got uh, 11. So you measure properly with your ruler or you can place your divider, then you place it on the ruler, okay? So here I obtained something like uh, 11 centimeters. So like I said, uh, it can be something like 11 or it can be approximately in between the 11. At least your values are not supposed to be uh, plus or minus 0, 0,3. Uh, centimeters out of range. They must be in between plus or minus 0, 0,3 centimeters. So this is uh, in terms of our measurements, but in terms of in reality, M from the bottom of the pole, we are going to use the scale. Remember, we are told here that our scale is one centimeter to represent two meters. So meaning to say we are going to apply our scale now to find the exact value uh, or the exact distance. So that will be 11 by two, which is 22 meters. Whatever value that you're going to get, you multiply it by two so that you obtain the exact value in meters uh, as your answer. All right, so these are the typical questions on how you can might be given. So all you need is to revise as much question papers as possible so that you'll be able to understand how to attempt questions. Even if you are given a question under bearing, it's the same concept that you have to consider like uh, this part that we have.